Dobro je neke stvari čupiti direktno. Medije se trude lijepo prijeti neke stvari, ali mislim da najautentičnija poruka je ona koju možemo čuti i skomplicirati direktno i to moram reći i daje podršku, međustavnu podršku svima nama da pronosimo ono što je dobro i što je istinito i zato je to. Hvala vam da ste nas ovdje. Prema Lincefu imamo između 1 i 2 miliona djece godišnje koje sudjeluju u trgovanju djeca. I to su zrade strašne, strašne zločine. Neki u Hrvatskoj smatraju da mi ne bi trebali govoriti o ovom. Zato da ne bi došlo do stigmatizacije, do pojednostavljenja stvari koje bi rekli da svi roditelji, svi ljudi koji su posvojili djecu iz trećih zemalja, da su kupili djecu, da su tu sto radili samo radi svoje žene i tako da. Postoje, ja bih rekla, ozbiljnije zemlje ili one možda manje ozbiljne, mi sigurno spadamo u ovu drugu kategoriju, koje, gdje isto su se neki ekscesi dogodili pa su oni reagirali. Ono što mene čudi, u konkretnom odnosu na naše ministarstvo vajskih i evropskih poslova, da jednostavno nisu prepoznali, govori se o Kongu, taj moratorij na zaslivanje posvojenja. Prema tome, mislim, meni se čini da se svijet probudio, Evropa se budi. Budnija je nego Hrvatska, to sigurno, ali velim ima još se malo od kojima će se takve stvari tek izaći. The governments are seeing the most horrific stories of child trafficking and adoption and they're saying, no, no, we're not going to take uh, children from these countries. In fact, in Congo, it's, it's a, a complicated issue because uh, in 2020, uh, supposedly there was uh, an acceptance of the Hague Convention. Except the United States government said, well, you may have said you accept the convention, but there are no processes in place to actually live up to the requirements of the convention. So, in, in effect, uh, uh, all adoptions from the Congo are banned in the United States because the government says it's been known to sign this. So, this is why you're seeing more and more countries putting moratoriums or halting all inter-country adoption. Uh, again, it's because it didn't follow what the Convention on the Rights of the Child said, which was this was to be an exception. With the passage of the, of the Hague Convention, the costs Uh, increased in many ways for inter-country adoptions because people had to follow certain regulations and, and, the, and there are costs. People tried to get around these costs by going to non-hate countries and that created a situation in which the non-hate countries, uh, again, the poor countries, let's speak the reality, and there was money to be made. And, and you're in the business now of people making money on, it, on selling children. And, Countries that are adopting children, uh, that, that most of the adoptive parents are coming from, have to realize that this is happening and have to do what they can to stop it.